Hi everyone and welcome to another segment on chess tips. For today's tip of the day, we're going to talk about how a bad bishop is much better in attack than in defense. Max Irvey wrote that the real difference between a good and a bad bishop lays in the attack. He said, a good bishop is one which is the same color as the squares in which the enemy pawns are placed. And Ludwig Pachmann wrote that a bad bishop is one which is restricted by its own pawns. So in this game between Gadakamsky with the white pieces and Gary Kasparov with black, uh, we could see that the player with the... the the pawns being restricting the bishop is is Kamsky. You see that the white squared bishop is being restricted by the pawn on d5, while the bishop on e5 uh, lays unopposed on the a a a1 h8 diagonal. Also, take notice that the pawn on b2 is the object of Black's attack. The game now continued queen to a7, and we're going to see how uh, having this advantage of a superior bishop, especially in the attack, um, gives black a decisive advantage. So the threat of queen to a7 is to play rook to a8. The game now continued rook c1, rook a8, b3, and now bishop to f4. And this might look like it's the culmination of black strategy, but it's not. Uh, black's intention is not really to skewer uh, the rooks, but what? I'm sorry. It might might be to skewer the rooks, but more importantly, he's threatening to play rook to e, rook to e7. So king to c2, rook e7, and now the pieces are slowly penetrating in the dark squares. King to d3. Notice that Kasparov evaluates the strength of his bishop or the strength of uh, manipulating the dark squares in the board greater than that to capturing a rook. Um, this makes sense because if bishop takes rook, then white well, white will more than likely be able to defend due to his greater control of the white squares. So now queen to c5, threatening rook a2 check, rook b1, rook e3, the pieces are slowly uh, basically merging into the dark squares, queen d4, Rook a2 check, king d1, and now a very nice move, rook takes f3. Notice the strength of the bishop on f4, creating a, a, a very interesting tactic where now the queen is forced to capture the bishop because if queen takes queen, then simply rook takes d2 check. And uh, we're threatening rook takes d2. So queen takes bishop, rook takes queen, rook takes rook, and after queen to g1 check, King c2, queen takes pawn on h2, Kamsky resign. So here we could see that the strength of the bishop lays in its ability. Uh, that a better bishop is really the one in which is the same color as the squares of that of the enemy pawns. And that the bad bishop is the one which is restricted by its own pawns. This is a perfect example of having a superior minor piece in the middle game.